is a way for the government. Corn, ethanol, food, fuel. Food versus fuel. It's the classic debate. For some, corn ethanol is a repulsive idea. Corn is food. Food is life. You don't burn it. With all the corn used for ethanol, we need more corn and other crops to maintain the food supply. And where do you grow those crops with all that land dedicated to ethanol? Worldwide, you can find people somewhere without enough to eat. Remember the 2007 Mexican tortilla riots? Tortilla prices tripled because of an international corn shortage. Can we blame ethanol for some of that? Yes, we can. It's simple supply and demand. But let's look at it the way the folks who make ethanol do. A $3 box of cornflakes only contains a few cents worth of corn. If a bushel of corn goes up by, say, 30%, maybe because ethanol helped drive up the price, the cornflakes will only cost a penny or two more. Most costs are from processing, shipping, and advertising. I'd rather have corn, corn, Kellogg's corn, flakes on the mountain. The big problem comes in years when there's a drought. And that, farmers will say, is out of their hands. One last thing. The corn used for ethanol feeds the livestock we eat and sweetens the beverages we drink. But it also goes into plastics, deodorant, hand sanitizer, carpeting, makeup, glue, paint, shoe polish. So then is it food versus fuel? Or is it food versus everything?